Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of the uh, quarter two update and our plans for quarter two and what we're going to be doing. If you missed quarter one, I will have that link down below. Go check that out as I discussed everything about um, quarter one, how it went, what changed, what didn't, um, and what we, yeah, what we finished as far as like read alouds and stuff like that. So let's talk quarter two. All right, so quarter two. We are, this is October the 12th as of right now. This week started our quarter two um, things, so to say. Um, I'm excited going into quarter two. Fall is literally my favorite time of year. If you missed my fall video, that will be linked down below. So I'm going to start out with our read aloud for quarter two. Um, I like to say that we have more than one. We do read a lot more books than this. This is just something that is our big chapter book that we are reading together. She reads all the time. Um, but this is our next read, which is Charlie and Frog. Um, I'm really excited about this book. This is a mystery, um, and this is about a uh i think it's just him yeah so he was lonely and curious his parents left him again to go on a big trip and so he starts to head into the village where a frightened old woman is has a desperate message in sign language um and so she disappears and he wants to solve and figure out what she was trying to tell him um, so he is determined to find the answers and I thought this would be a perfect addition because we have just started a sign language class through our local library from a homeschool mom who is hard of hearing. So she is teaching awareness um, to our community and wants us to be able to understand sign language. Uh, I've already started to know how to sign our name and our month, our birthday, a bunch of things. We know our numbers. So it's been really, really fun getting to do that. And I think it's going to pair well with this read aloud. So our next, we are sticking with the same core um, language arts from the Good and the Beautiful level two and level two of the math from Good and the Beautiful as well that is not going to change um our quarter two is going to be probably right on target so let's see usually a quarter is about nine to ten weeks so we started one two three four five six seven okay so we are actually going to have an extremely short quarter two um, so that our quarter two is going to run us on the split year about seven weeks. Um, so we have so much to do in quarter two. I'm really excited to tell you about it. So basically our co-op is about to end mid-November. So almost right around when our quarter two is going to end. So we are doing um, a Halloween unit from... Um, the all, all things spooky from barefoot within the trees. And uh, we're only literally have done one lesson. I will say if you have littles, please skim through this ahead of time. I think some of these topics are a little advanced for um, the younger crowd. Um, and the book selection, I don't say is my favorite. Um, I ended up getting a couple extra books that were more for like the seven year old level to understand some of these topics. I did create this here um, schedule. So we are doing this for the next three weeks um, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which are our only school school days. Um, and yeah, so this is our Halloween unit. This is going to be one of the units that we are doing in quarter two. The next unit that we're doing in quarter two, I'm so excited. Um, we are doing the Giving Thanks from Campfire Curriculum. I am not, if you would like an in-depth video, I will be showing you guys that extremely soon here. 
um, as this is going to discuss kind of like our Thanksgiving theme. Um, but this is going to be the last thing that we do for the year. Uh, actually, no, I take that back for quarter two. Um, and I say that lightly because we are going to wrap that up, I think, the week before Thanksgiving or the week of, I'm not quite sure. And then our the way we do everything in our homeschool is we break from Thanksgiving week till the new year. We stop all core curriculum. So we're not doing language arts. We're not doing math formally. Um, and the only thing that we are going to be doing from there is our um, gather around Christmas unit study. Okay. Um, and then we have for quarter three and quarter four, I have two other units, three other units planned. We'll see if we can work them in and squeeze them in. Um, so far we are not as strict and regimented on our unit study schedules. And so sometimes we do them and sometimes we don't. And then I feel behind or we skip things or, you know, we're try I'm trying to, I'm trying for it to not be chaotic, but at the same time, I really want to do these. I spent money on them and I am really excited about all of them. Some have not worked and that's okay. And we just move on and do other things that work for us in our homeschool. So I'm really curious to see what you guys, if you guys have started quarter two, what your unit studies are, if you're doing unit studies, what is the fun that you're bringing into the holidays? I want to know all about it, so leave me a comment down below, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!